Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's episode of Talking Point. I am your host, Niaz Ahmed. Today, we are going to meet a gentleman who has dedicated his life to music and cultural activities that relates to our subcontinent and our loved country, Bangladesh. He is none other than Mr. Mahmoud Rahman, also known as Benu Bhai Benu Da. He is a dedicated cultural activist and a graduate from Chayanat, was mentored by known people known as masters of their time, Wahidul Haq, Sheikh Lutfur Rahman, and Zahidul Rahim. Welcome to the show, Mahmoud Rahman Benu Bhai. <laughs> How are you today? Thank you very much. I thank you. I thank NTV. Uh, I'm all right. And I, I enjoy these, you know. I know. Getting I know. together to talk to you, to talk to people through these, you know. It's so kind that, of you that yeah. uh, you found time and we could agree to <laughs> meet at a you know, particular time so that we could do this show. all mine, I can tell you that. <laughs> Uh, many ups and downs have gone in your f life and uh, you have uh, traveled from Bangladesh to uh, England and you were in Leeds and you were in Sheffield and you were in Lon London and you were also sometime in Reading. Mm. Uh, well, let's, you joined Mukti Juddha, you took up arms and then later you decided to give up the arms and you picked up the harmonium back again and devoted your time and energy to what was known as Mukti Shangrami Shilpi Shangsta. We'll talk about all these things later. But let us try to understand the man behind this persona, who is Mr. Mahmoud Rahman, also known as Benu. When did it all start, the journey of your life, the journey of Mr. Mahmoud Rahman into the music world. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I mean, for all musicians, I think it is going to be kind of a long story. True, I'll true. Cut it short because I want to talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> all my experiences I want to talk about. But basically what happened, there are two uh, sides to it. One is right. in Dhaka, where, where I started music, why right. I went into this um, formal music training and all that. Mm -hmm. And the other one is in Eng England. Right. Why was it a totally English society, a different culture? Yeah. Why did I have to start yeah, things first here? First things first, we mm. talk about Dhaka first. Dhaka first. The, the thing is that in Dhaka I was an escort, escort mm. to my sister, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who suddenly decided that she should, she wants to learn music. Right. She's basically a very nervous sort of a person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in those days, you always needed some escort, any a, woman. A, a male could, escort. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they couldn't, ma uh, women couldn't travel on their own. Mm -hmm. So, Rickshaw, uh, I accompanied her, right. and the sun, uh, just about that time, a year before, this institution, which now has become a legend, mm -hmm. Chayanot mm -hmm. School mm -hmm. of Music in Bangladesh, right. practically everybody in Bangladesh and in India, particularly West Bengal, they know about Chayanot now. Right. That's where she went to uh, learn music. Learn music. And my job was to go with her, sit down, and when she has finished her class... Wait for a few hours. To take her, yeah, to take her back. Mm -hmm. I said, I mean... How old I'm were you at that down, time? Yeah, how old were you at that time? I was... Uh, how much? 22, mm -hmm. 22, mm -hmm. 23. So yes. by that time you had f finished your formal education? Nearly, nearly finished, you yes. know. I, yeah, it, prob um, it was all over. I was already working in that university. Right. You had the time to uh, accompany her to uh, school. Yeah, but still, and it uh, basically a weekend job. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I used to go on Fridays. In those days, the classes were only on Fridays. Right. And um, so I went with her. But as I said, she's a very nervous sort of a person. Mm -hmm. 
And when I saw that it was a meaningless pursuit for me, I just sit down doing nothing. <laughs> so I said, well, let me enroll myself, enroll as well. Right. What is the point in just waiting, doing nothing? Hmm. So I started learning as well. Mm -hmm. And after a about three months or so, the first test, right. you know, how much have we learned? Right. That was when I was there, there will be a test. And my sister, as I said, mm -hmm. is so nervous. She yeah. said, oh my God, no, I'm not going to take any test or anything. Mm -hmm. She just disappeared. And mm -hmm. I carried on. Mm -hmm. And that's it, a new life for you me. You must have it at the germ of music, uh, learning music. Otherwise, you wouldn't start at that age, and yeah. then you will be able to take the test. Yeah, that, that is true. We all had music in us, you know. Mm -hmm. It came from the family. My mother used to sing. Mm -hmm. Father, I'm told, I've never heard him play, but father was a flautist. Mm -hmm. You know, he used to play flute. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Basically, we all enjoyed music very much. Yes. But learning music, getting to know formal Indian music structures and all that, mm -hmm. is a different thing. Right. That I came to know after I joined Channel. Right. right. And uh, it was another, a new life exactly mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. uh, brought me into, you know, how, that how, was How many Dhaka. years did you spend at Chayanat? Say it again. How many years did you spend at Oh, China? that is uh, another thing. You see, it was a five-year course, mm -hmm. graduation. But in the meantime came this 1971 War of Liberation. Right. Okay. And therefore, I uh, had to go somewhere else. I think that, will, that story will also come up at some stage. Right. That Bangladesh Mukti Shongrami Shilpi Shongstra, Mukti Gan, all those things yes. happened then. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, after I came back after the war, yeah. we had to stop learning music because of the situation, right. uh, the very um, serious situation across right. the country. Obviously, an artist is a very sensitive person and he cannot go on just uh, carry on with music while, the, while there's the fire of war all around, see. That it is true, but basically at that point I wasn't much of an artist. <laughs> I can tell you because I was there on the 25th of March. Mm -hmm. The Pakistani army struck at 12 o'clock mm -hmm. at in Dhaka <coughs> on the Bengali people. I mean, that was a war against just a um, just a people as civilian, such. Civilian, innocent civilians. Uh, innocent civilians. We don't need. We didn't know how to fight. We didn't have any arms. We had nothing. And all night I was awake to see how innocent people... Which part of Dhaka were you though at that time? I was living in Monk Bajar area mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I could hear, um, you know, the, the whole night was a really night, a totally a real nightmare. Mm -hmm. I could see the... The flares. Uh, the uh, bullets flying right across all night through. And there were... God knows how many bustis, you know, have been you know, burned. Yes. And when people tried to run away from the fire, fire yeah. they were being Shot. killed just like animals. Mm -hmm. You know, and birds and animals, just like that. And a change came there. Mm -hmm. I suddenly, um, life became meaningless for me. Right. That, uh, you know, I don't want to leave this life. I immediately, a person who never ever been violent, who has never killed a fly, suddenly thought that I must go, Pick up the I arms. must learn to fight, and I must fight these animals, right. these Pakistani, brutal, you know. It is totally inconceivable. Which, which, which sector did you join? Eventually, you know, they, it's a long story. I went on uh, 28th, of, uh, 27th of March, 25th of March, the attack came. Yes. 27th of March, up to 27th, it was all curfew. Right. So there was nothing I could do, and I kept asking people, you know, where can I go and find them? Where are our um, people who, Lip, are, yes. who have made some resistance? Freedom fighters. That? Yeah, and I was told that Khaled Musharraf, 
uh, is related to you, isn't it's he? my wife's elder brother. Yes, your, your wife's brother. He was a major at that time, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think all, all the senior persons were the majors. See, that's yeah, the highest, yeah. except uh, Major General Khaled Musharraf, Usman, Usmani, who was colonel, I think. He was in Noshindi. He had, a, he had put up some fight. Right. So I said, well, that's the nearest. So I'll go and join him there. Mm -hmm. Just tell him that, please, mm -hmm. turn me into a soldier. I want to fight these animals. Right. Uh, as simple as that. And if I die in the process, I will immediately, I will still feel very proud, very lucky mm -hmm. that I am able to give my life for, you know, as a, because so many people, innocent people, completely uh, right. un, unnecessarily killed. If I right. try can, to Can we cut down this story a little yeah. bit? Anyway, briefly. after I went to Noshingbi, he wasn't there. Somebody said, no, no, he has gone to Brahmanbadiya. So I went to Brahmanbadiya. He wasn't there. Somebody said, no, no, he uh, crossed the Shingar Bill and went to India. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a place called Shunamura in mm -hmm. Agartala. That's where they are. Mm -hmm. then so I finally crossed caught up with him. And I kept following and I caught up with him and I went there. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, he, I couldn't find him. He was again underground. He was somewhere he took uh, from time to time but he did you did join the forces yeah, there i did join but not there mm -hmm. i went from there when i saw that there there was mm, you know nothing organized mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. i thought that west bengal would mm. probably be more appropriate right so i came to west bengal there is a just a place called betai yeah. across mehpur mm -hmm. border mm -hmm. And that's where I found uh, two of my friends, Taufik mm -hmm. Choudhury, he's now yep. an advisor yep. Uh, yep. To, to the, the pres Prime Minister, President yeah. Prime Minister. Mahbub, uh, Mahbub Uddin, he was a SP Dhaka. Yes, yes, yeah. the poli police officer. They were yes. my police officers. They were my close friends, you know. Uh, we, yeah. we knew yes. each other from the university. Yeah. So I joined them. I want to. And that's where it was decided that uh, you go to Captain Hafiz, yeah, who yeah. was stationed in Petrapol, mm. just across Binapol, and that's where you trained to be a... Kulna Jasur sector. Uh, uh, Jasur sector, yeah, that's right. That's where you learn your, you know. And it's learning means uh, real learning, you know. Mm -hmm, Four mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock, every day mm -hmm. I had to... Uh, you know, do physical training, how to shoot a gun, how to unload the gun, you know, take the gun right. off, put it back, et cetera, et cetera. Everything right. that goes with... The fingers <coughs> that learn to that play the uh, harmonium and other musical instruments were doing something else. Yeah, exactly. Uh, suddenly, I mean, it is very, very surprising that during that time, suddenly music, uh, uh, which okay, was my sir, life. Okay, sir, the time has come for us to take a break, and then mm -hmm. when we come back, we'll definitely go back to Jasur and find out what was the condition there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. We'll take this short break. Don't go away. We'll be back soon.